hi beautiful people so today i'm going to show you guys how i reduce my wig cap so this is supposed to be a medium sized cap which is 22 inches second friends so my client's head is 21 inches anyways i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about based on her measurement so i'm going to put her measurement on the screen and how uh, the guidelines which she used to get the measurement Anyways, let me measure this one so that you see the difference between what she sent and what I have. I don't have, I usually get a medium size because with a small head, you can still get it. You can still wear a medium size, but some people's head are really small, which we need to reduce. Okay, let me sh first of all measure this one based on the guidelines which I sent to her. So you see the actual size of this cap, then I will show you how to reduce it to her um, head measurement. Okay, stay tuned. All right, based on the guidelines, if we are supposed to do it with a, based on these guidelines, right? Let me shift this thing a little bit. If we are supposed to do it with inches, which I prefer inches, let me show you guys the guidelines. Mm. Right, this is, these are the guidelines. This is what we are going to be following here. Here. So number one is the circumference, right? Let me measure the circumference of this cap. This cap here. So I'm starting from here. From this end. Now go around. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Okay. I'll go around the cap. This is the circumference here. Go around. See? Round. And then we end where we ended. So the second fence of this wig cap is um 22.5. I think it's 22. Let me just say 22 because I think I make anyway. So let's just say 22.5, right? 22.5. But my client's second fence. From her measure and then, okay let me just first, first of all finish here so the second fence is 22.5 and then the second one is front to nap front to nap which is the center of the week the center of the cap to the back so front to nap is let me see let me see so my front to nap of this is 14 14 inches then the third measurement is ear to ear across the forehead. Ear to ear across the forehead. See? Ear to ear across the forehead is the front part of the the the, the, um, the wig cap. So let me measure. Ear to ear across the forehead. So this one, the ear to ear across the forehead is... is um, I'm just rushing, guys. I need to be very careful. Ear to ear across the forehead is 11.5, right? 11.5, let me get a pen. Number one measurement is circumference. Circumference is, number one is um, 22.5. Number two is 14. Number three is 11.5, okay? Then let's say the next measurement is ear to ear over the top of the hair. Ear to ear over the top. I'm not sure if I'm showing you right. This one, number four. Ear to ear over the top. So ear to ear over the top. This is it. They are talking about this part here. From here to here. So I need to measure ear to ear over the top. So it's 6.5 half, which means it is 13, right? Over the top is 6.5. 6.5 plus 6.5 is 13. So number 4 equals 13. Then number 5 is temple to temple. Temple to temple. Temple to temple means, look, from here to here. From here to here. Anyway, as it is in the pictures, you can see how it is in the picture. Temple to temple from the hairline across the back of the head and to the other side. So her temple to temple 
Her temple to temple is. I mean, this week caps temple to temple is. Look, seven. Is it seven point five? Okay, seven point five. Temple to temple for this week cap is seven point five. Because number four is number five is seven point five. 7.5 times 2, sorry, 15, guys, not 7.5, 15 times 2 because I'm measuring half of it, right? 15, round the hair should be times 2. And then the last part is the nape of the neck, like the back of your neck, this one here, the back of your neck. So the nape of the neck of this uh, wig cap is, let me measure it, 5. The nape of the neck of this wig cap is five. So number six is five equals to five. All right, now let's compare these measurements with the measurements of my client's head. Let's compare this measurement with what my client sent. So this is what my, the circumference of her number one, you can see her number one, is i'll just put the, i'll just screenshot and put on the on the um screen so that you guys can see i i already placed on the screen so i'm going to do a little bit of calculation so her second phrase is 53 53 in inches should be 21 inches so let me say 53 53 is 21 inches so there's already 1.5 inches, 21 inches is her circumference. Then there's number two. Number two is 28 centimeter, which is supposed to be 11. So number two is 11. Her number two is 11. So already three inches gone. So number three is 29, which is 11.5. So number three for, for this is the same, 11.5. Then number four, number four is 30, which is 12. One is gone, 11.5. Then number five, number five is um, 31, which is 12 point, let me just say 12.5, 12.5. The number six is 12. Number six is 14.1. It's equals to four point, let's just say 4.5. Okay. So now we can see there's, there's a lot of inches we need to remove from it. So let's just about reduce, see how many inches we need to remove on each stage. Okay. So i mean i'm going to you can pause and do that off camera the difference between 22.5 and 21 is 1.5 so the second phase has to reduce by 1.5 then number 214 which is a front to nape so her front to nape has to reduce by three three inches different Number three will remain the same. Number four is two inches different, two. Number five will be three, two, because it's 15.5, three difference. Then this one is 0.5 difference. So look at the inches we have to remove from each stage. But remember that if you remove every inch on each stage like this, it will affect the circumference, right? So first of all, we should try to first of all remove the inches on number two, number three, number five, and number six. So, so number two, if, if I remove, remember, if I remove number two is front to nape, right? This is front to nape. From here to here is that, that amount. So, if I have to remove any inch from for front to nape, I need to remove it from here, from the back part of it. So I try to, because when you remove any inch, I don't know how to explain guys. For example, right, okay. First, number one. Mm -hmm. Let's start from there. 
I don't know if you understand me. So for front to nip for her is um, 11, 11, right? So if you, if this is 14, I remove three already from here, three from here. This 11 will reduce, right? If I remove, like if I just sew this part like this, I reduce it by three inches. Which means one and they have one and one and they have on one side and one and they have on the other side. So let's say from here to here, I remove one and a half and, and then I sew it right. So once I sew it, the circumference will already reduce by half, half on one side, one and they have on one side, one and they have on this one side. So the circumference will definitely reduce already. We don't need to touch the circumference again. So once you reduce this one now, so the, the front to nape will reduce. So this is how you reduce the front to nape. Now, once you reduce the front to nape, the part where we're supposed to reduce the ear to in short, let me let me just show you guys as we go. So usually I start to reduce first this front to nape. So this is the back part of the wig, right? Like this. I hope everyone is seeing and understanding what I'm saying. Once you reduce some parts, some other parts will reduce as well automatically. So, okay, this is the front to nape, right? So, we'll make it in such a way that we'll cut a little bit here from the back to reduce the front to nape. We'll remove like 2.5 here. Okay, let's just say, let's, we will not touch the circumference. So, we'll just remove like 1.5, 1.5. Then this part here will be just be slightly small. Like, we'll sew it in such a way that the same 1.5 will not apply to the ends of the, the, the cap. So we'll reduce 1.5 here and 1.5, 1.5 from the inch three. Let's say we'll reduce three inches. Like we'll reduce from here to here will be three in, where is it? From here to here, right? We'll reduce this three inches, three. Is it three though? Yeah, because from the neck is 14 there. So we'll reduce three inches, three inches, three inches from this back part. So to, in order to reduce three inches, we need to pinch this 1.5 here at this part here, like this. And then when we sew it, we sew it in such a way that, you see, the 1.5 part is only affected in the middle. Then this side will just blend, you understand? Like this. This video is going to be long. I'm so sorry, but I need to explain it the way it's supposed to be. So when I do that, I do. It, you can see, I'll show you how I'm sewing it. Like this. So it's going to just join with the circumference, with the other, with the circumference. And then I always sew it with two stitches, like the straight stitch. Like that. Remember 1.5 should be in the, the center must be 1.5 so that it reduces the the front to nape 1.5 yes 1.5 you see when i get to the end i don't try to put the 1.5 you see it reduces as we go here because once, if you, if you try to put the 1.5 right here, it's going to reduce the second phase in such a way that you will not like it. So, each time you reduce one stage, make sure you do the measurement again. Okay. Now, okay. So, front to nape solution soft. See, this is the 1.5 reduce inside then this is how it it is right now so now let's measure our front to nape again and show you how how it is <sighs> so this is the front to nape one so we got our it was 11 is it 11 uh, front to nape for her it was 11 let me see
front to nape for her was 11 but we still have 12 12 which means we still have one inch again to reduce let's first of all reduce okay let's first of all reduce the ear to ear front to nap and then the ear to ear over the top right let's first of all reduce this part so that it becomes smaller this part for her ear to ear number one number two ear to ear is, is the third one the third one we don't need to reduce the third one because it's the same as this one and then the fourth one we have to reduce by two inches two inches the fourth one look the fourth one is 13 the, the, the third one is the, the her own is 11 so we need to reduce for her own the, the third one is the fourth one is 14 it's 13 sorry her own is 11 so we need to reduce one and uh, two inch from it which means one inch from one side so we need to reduce this part here by pinching one inch as we pinch one inch we need to also reduce the down this the the, the the end the um, remember the the nap the nap part right the nap part was supposed to be reduced one half inches half inch right i'll just reduce it one inch and then i'll just reduce you um i'll just reduce the half inch and then here too this part here has to be reduced one inch look this part here has to be reduced one inch and then this then this this uh temple to temple her temple to temple it was supposed to be 15. there's also two inch to be reduced so we start by reducing two inch then we go to three inch then we reduce it to one so there should be a a reduction in this middle part so we start by the temple to temple um, the, the over the head ear to ear then we, we reduce the temple to temple here and then we reduce the nape part so it will be like two three and and half two three and half which means we, we will use one 1 1.5 and half let me just say half it will not cost anything okay so so when you reduce that it, it already reduced everything else so i always start like from the beginning which means from the beginning remember her beginning is the same as the cap so we don't need to do that we don't need to reduce her beginning so let me just reduce like half inch, not even half though just to start sewing i don't know if i really explain very well but okay now we, we are now at the over the top ear to ear over the top ear to ear is supposed to be um 13 right 13 on this week cap but 11 for her 11 is 5.5 .5. so this is it 5.5 .5. so we need to sew on this part where there's a 5.5 .5. so we need to sew like that and then temple to temple her temple to temple they, we, we need to remove a 1.5 the temple to temple should be somewhere here we need to reduce a 1.5 but i'm going to just reduce one because i don't want it to be too bad And then as we are going at the end of the hair, we start bringing it back. So there's a C going on there. I hope I, I explain myself. So because we sewed on this side, we need to actually... Um, I always try to bend the thing and then just sew it so that it becomes smooth. My explanation is so bad. But if you understand, try to understand. now this is how the cap is see everything is smaller so now let's do the measurement again remember we just reduce the front to nape then we reduce 
the ear to ear ear to ear front to um across the forehead ear to ear over the over the head over the head and then temple to temple that's all we did so now let's see if it changes the circumference so let's see if the measurements are are almost the same are, are, are aligning now so let's start from the beginning again we measure the circumference is supposed to be See this anyways, let me just do the circumference first. The circumference see the circumference is 21.5, so there's a 0.5 left, which is okay. And then for the uh, ear to ear over the from the front to nip, front to nip. From the front to nature should be 11 right let's see if it work if it, it has reduced front to nip see it's 11.5 11 11.5 11 okay it's 12 i told you guys the back part doesn't really matter and then ear to ear um the third one what is it about what was the third one the third one is ear to ear up across the head see ear to ear across the head there was no difference there it was 11 it's still 11 and then ear to ear over the whatever over the head ear to ear over the the head ear to ear over the head is six so ear to ear over the head is supposed to be 11.5, right? So it's supposed to be 11. So this is it, 5.5. This 6 is not really 6 because I just bent this. Okay, this is how it's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. Let me measure now. Ear to ear is 5.5, which means it is 6. It is 11, sorry. 5.5 .5, which means it is 11 and then um front to, um tempo to tempo which is 13 let's just say 13 not 12 though because it's 12.5 tempo to tempo the tempo to tempo should be should be see 6.5 which is 13 which is um 13 right yes so i think this measurement is okay now this measurement is okay there's a slightly 0.5 added to each stage but it's better than because look how small the head is now the head is too small for me <laughs> so i'm going to undo her. then okay let's measure the back the, the last part which is supposed to be four this is it four four point five or four but we have four so because some of these parts so again, you just need to you just need to reduce the front to nape. When you reduce the front to nape by reducing the under part of the wig, and then you reduce like to reduce the temp the ear to ear, the temple to temple, the uh, ear to ear above the head, you have to reduce the middle part like that. So it's just like a T. You reduce this part and then you reduce this part. So reducing this part is based on the measurements on the cap. So once you reduce all of this part, it will affect the length, this, the circumference because here at the end here, you have to reduce some length, which was supposed to be one inches, which was supposed to be the one inches from the circumference. I don't know if you get the points. Just figure out what I'm saying. Just try to watch very carefully and you understand. Okay. Subscribe so to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.